Okay, in this example, we're going to do another non-numerical proof by induction. So we've done a lot of these numerical proofs, proofs over summations. We did the one that was making change that was non-numerical. This is going to be another non-numerical problem. So once again, just a refresher, we want to show in the base case that the property we're trying to prove is true for the first index in the sequence. Okay. In our inductive step, we want to show that if the property is true for some k in our sequence, then the property will be true for k plus 1. And again, we're going to use a direct proof. And we're going to suppose this in the induction hypothesis. And we're going to demonstrate or show this. So you know, most people know about dominoes. We've talked about dominoes a number of times in these videos. Dominoes are little pieces, game pieces, that are made up of two squares. Trominoes are similar. Right? There's the word trominoes versus dominoes. Trominoes have three squares. Like that or they can be in an L shape like that. So this is what's known as an L shaped tromino and this is what we're going to be working with today. So the theorem we're trying to prove may seem a little artificial but it's interesting, is that for any integer n greater than or equal to 1, all squares but 1 in the corner of a 2 to the n by 2 to the n checkerboard can be completely covered by L-shaped trominoes. So let's do a couple of quick examples to make sure we're all on the same page. So if n is 1, I'm just going to do this. This is a quick example, then we'll get to the proof then 2 to the n by 2 to the n would be 2 by 2. There we go. And we could fill that with, an, with a single L-shaped tromino, leaving one corner on the edge free, which is what this theorem said. So this is actually going to be our base case here, but I'll rewrite that more formally. If n equals 2, well then 2 to the 2 is 4, so this is going to be... A, rect a, a square four times as big right so two to the two is four so this is four by four and now we're going to want to start filling this up this is getting harder to do let's try to do this there's one uh, nope I screwed that up already Oh, no, maybe I didn't. But this is much harder, and you're going to have to play with it a little bit to get it to work. There's another one. Here's one. Oops, I screwed it up. See, I can't get that one. Uh, I can't have two down here like that. Well, you can play with it. And it turns out this is true, and we're going to prove it. Though it's a little hard to fiddle with it yourself to get it to work. And so on. 
So our, our, our checkerboards are going to grow very quickly. So let's do a proof by induction, as always. And this is actually going to show us how to do that uh, problem where n is equal to 2. We'll do that at the very end after we do this proof and we see how to do it. So we're going to start with the base case. And since we know n is not all numbers bigger than 1 or equal to 1, that's going to be our base case. So base case, if n equals 1, then uh, 2 to the n, 2 to the 1, by 2 to the 1 checkerboard looks like this. And this can be completely covered by a single L-shaped leaving a single square. uncovered in the corner, right? And we already saw how we would do that. We could do it like that. Here's our tromino. So the base case holds. So now let's do the inductive step. We want to start with our inductive hypothesis. And remember, our inductive hypothesis is always going to be that we assume that the property being proved, which is given in our theorem, holds true for some k in the sequence. I'm going to suppose a 2 to the k by 2 to the k checkerboard can be completely covered by L-shaped trominoes. except for one square in the corner. Right, and we want to show that this property holds for k plus one. Okay. Now, with these type of problems, you might ask, well, how do I approach this? Well, the numerical problems are, are reasonably straightforward most of the time. You pull a term off or you somehow tweak it so that you can access the inductive hypothesis. Here, the best bet is just to play around with it until you get there. And if you want to pause the video now and see if you can figure out how to do this, That'd be a great thing to do, a great little puzzle. And then we will move on. So to solve this, we're going to need to recall the rules of exponents. All 
Right, remember in the exponents, if you have two bases, the same base multiplied together, in this case two twos, uh, you can add the exponents together. So if we have two times two to the k, that's equal to two to the k plus one. And two times two to the k is also equal to two to the k plus two to the k, right? We've got two of them. So what this means is that given our new checkerboard, which we're told has sides 2 to the k plus 1 by 2 to the k plus 1. Each one of those 2 to the k plus 1s is really 2 2 to the k's. So we can transform this into four smaller checkboards all touching each other even though I'm not drawing them touching here, where each one of these sides is just 2 to the k. Right? Because we have that 2 to the k plus 1 is the same as 2 to the k plus 2 to the k. Well, here we can use our inductive hypothesis. And we're going to do the inductive hypothesis on the next page. So once again, we have these four smaller boards. Where each one of these is 2 to the k. And by the inductive hypothesis, we know we can cover each of these boards as shown. So we're going to have one spot left in the corner and by the inductive hypothesis, we know, okay, let's go back and look at that, we know that we can cover, completely cover a 2 to the k by 2 to the k checkerboard with L-shaped trominoes except for one square in the corner. So using that, I know I can completely cover this except for that one square left in the corner. But notice we can rotate some of these boards to put the put the squares together as to put the squares together the open squares let's do that So I'm going to leave this open square in that corner, but in the others, I'm going to rotate them so they're like that. Okay. Now we can push those four smaller boards together. leaving one spot in the corner and three open spots in the middle that we can put an L-shaped tromino in.
And what this does is, and this is what we were trying to show, because then the board will be filled, right? This two to the K by two to the K board will be completely filled with L-shaped trominoes. K plus one by two to the K plus one, excuse me, except for one in the corner. And that's what we were trying to show. Um, you can use this, this, be, this sort of gives you an algorithm. So what you can do is you can figure out, remember that two to the, by two to the case one that we started with, that we couldn't figure out? We can very quickly treat this as two different boards, or four different boards, right? So here's one board filled with L-shaped trominoes, but I want to leave the middle one open, so I'm going to do that. And here's another board where I want to leave the one in the corner open. So the, here's that. I'm, so I'm including the rotation here for simplicity. And here's one, another two to the K board. I'm going to leave this corner one open, and so I'm going to cover all of those. And finally, here's our last two to the K board, and I'm gonna again I'm gonna leave this open. And now we have room for one L-shaped tromino right in the middle. There we go. So this proof actually gives us an algorithm to solve the problem. And that's a really important property and something that you can use sometimes if you feel stuck and you don't know how to solve a problem try to use a proof by induction can give you the answer to the algorithm. And that's pretty awesome.